I'm in the middle of a trade for this Charizard Pokemon card, but there's just one problem. I might end up losing it hours later. And not just this card, but every other card I collect if I don't complete this challenge on time. One of our moderators, YQ Mouski, dropped me a DM on Discord, which started this entire thing. Base 2 is next on my quest to finish every Pokemon set ever, so yeah, let's do this. I go and gather my things to trade because yes, this is a trade only challenge, plus a beanie and a scarf because it's kind of cold. To make matters worse, I went to the doctor yesterday and I got a shot and I could barely lift my arm. This should be fun. Ah! To the Patmobile. Let's go. Ah, gosh, I gotta remember my left. Jingle bell, garbage door smells, honcho lid and egg. Don't ask me to be happy because the trio has no legs. All right, so I pull up to my first stop, TC's Rocket, and then I see him, the Grinch. Look at him, he's as cuddly as a cactus. Anyway, I walk in and aw oh yeah, I feel like I'm on my home turf right now. And right now we need to go and find Brad, who is the entire reason why I finished the original base set of Pokemon in a previous challenge. Hey, Hello. good to see you again. Is uh, Brad in today? He's not in today, unfortunately. No, Brad, he's my good luck charm. I know, I know, I'm so sorry. Well, I'm looking for uh, some base set too. Do you think you can help me out? Yeah, for sure, Sweet. Man. What's, your for you? What's your name? Seamus. Seamus, yeah. you're the man. And Seamus was indeed the man because he pulled out, just like I had hoped, some giant giant white boxes full of vintage commons and uncommons. Alphabetically, start you off at A, end you at Z. Perfect. Now it was time to get to work. Base it two, I'm coming for you. As I'm flipping through, I start to notice really quickly, Base It 2 is actually gonna be pretty hard to find. It's just not as common as the other vintage sets. We wanna find cards with this symbol, not jungle or fossil or cards without symbols, which are usually Base Set Eliminated. We want the two, like this. Finally, a bell sprout. See, there's the two right there in the corner. You'll also notice some of the cards are already marked off this list here. And that's because I found a few Base Set 2 cards at home. Pity the fool. And I stuck them in this vault x binder right before I left. Here's what I started with. Bulbasaur, Metapod, Tangela, Vulpix, Onyx, Execute, Diglett, Weedle, Full Heal, Fighting Energy, Fire, Psychic, and that's it. That's 12 in total. Actually, 13 now with Bellsprout. 13 out of 130 total cards. That's the most in any set Pokemon's printed up to this point in time. Fossil, the last set I completed, was only 62 cards. This is more than twice as much. 130? That's like my heart rate right now. And remember, if I don't complete this set by the end of the day, I have to give away all the cards I collect to a lucky subscriber of the channel. This is crazy, but we have to keep going. We got the B drill, then the Butterfree. I grab a handful of cards and there's one, a Cubone, nice. And as you can see, there are so many cards in here that are not base set two, but we are finding them. Right, Charmander? Good to see you too. And this goes on and on and on, piles after piles after piles, picking up whatever we can find. Sometimes I go through an entire handful and there's zero base set two cards to be found. After the first box, I scan through the cards I picked up. 26. Not bad ready for the next set of alphabet. And when the next box arrives, I'm randomly flipping through and then bam, a licky tongue. This was so lucky. All right, back to the grind. We pick up an item finder and then an ivy store. That's nice. And then in the next pile, I find this Jinx who looks kind of surprised to see me. Double slap. And finally, after getting through this box, I take a quick break to feel my age and then I get back to the grind again. All righty. Box number three. Next box, next big one. And through S. And through S. Sweet, thanks. Good luck, have fun. Have fun, that's what it's all about. I say that, but yo, this is taking a long time and I've been here for almost 30 minutes and I'm not even halfway through the alphabet yet. My body is like, yo, what are you doing? And in my mind, I'm like grinding and finding, baby. Grinding and finding. Does that even make sense? Probably not. Anyway, more cards and 45 minutes in now, boom, look at that stack. All commons and uncommons, yeah, but still, we need every single one right now. Okay, I'm in the W's now, and I got the Weeping Bell. We get the War Turtle, nice. And now I'm in the X, Y's, and Z's. I take a look at the list real fast, and there are no X, Y, Z's in this set. All right, we got what we got at this point. I know there's still a few missing cards, but let's count them up. 80, we got 80 more. 80, why is this set so big? All right, let's see what hollows they got in the cabinet now. Do you have any hollow base set twos in the cabinet? Yeah, the fact that he hasn't pulled anything out yet has me really worried right now. Hmm, I don't see you pulling anything. <laughs> Not looking good, not looking good. Is uh, Brad in today? He's not in today, unfortunately. No, Brad. We try a giant stack of binders, nada. He's my good luck charm. I go back to the cabinet just in case, nada. No base set, two hollows. I couldn't find any, my friend. It's because Brad's not here, right? 
Okay, so we found everything we could and now it's time to get rung up. Oh, you know we gotta get some of these sleeves because we don't wanna practice no bad binder behavior. All right, let's add these in and see where we're at. What's the damage? 8,000. Are you okay with paying that? Um, no, no, no. <laughs> About 2478. All right, now I give him my trade binder. Oh, he forgot to calculate the sleeves. 2909. 30 bucks. Okay, that's not bad. Let's hope he finds something he likes for around that price in this binder. Gyrdos? Sure. That one gets you way over what you need. He must know that I need these though, so I asked for one additional item from the cabinet. Can I do the Gyrdos and one of the Charizard V-Maxes? Yeah, I'd actually give you five more store credit. Okay, let's uh, get a Silver Tent this time. All right, bye Gyarados. <laughs> But we did pick up our bulk and this Charizard VMAX, which I might be able to use later. There you are, sir. Sweet. What's awesome. your name again? I'm Zev. Thank you. Nice to meet Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Anytime, man. It's time to sort this all out. First, we gotta sleeve all these cards, and there's a lot of them. And then all of a sudden, right in the middle of sorting all these cards, something really cool happens. Hello. Hi. I'm a big fan of- No way, you watch the channel? Dude, that's awesome, high five. Thank you so much. What's your name? Martin. Martin, well, you know what's funny? I'm actually literally filming a video right now. What? And if it's cool with your parents, I can like put you in there for like a half second. Absolutely. Is that okay? Martin, yo, thank you so much for watching the channel, man. I love meeting fans in person so much that I'm throwing a huge card party in Anaheim in 2023. Yes, an in-person event where myself, a bunch of other YouTube creators are coming and fans like you. We're gonna have a lot of fun, buy, sell, trade, fun activities, all kinds of things. Check it out at card.party and get your tickets before the price goes up. As I was back to my binder, checking things off the list, I thought to myself, you know what? Martin needs a little something extra for being an awesome fan. Do you mind if I give you something for Christmas? Sure. I heard you mention the Charizard uh, VMAX owner give that to you. Thanks for watching the channel, man. That's what's about. All right, I knew this Charizard would come in handy. Back at the table, I'm finishing up loading all the new cards into the binder, and I have almost every single common and uncommon, but I'm still missing all the rares and holographic cards. We have a lot of work to do, but I'm pretty happy at this point because we started the day with 12 cards, and now we're up to 93 total, which leaves 37 cards left. It is real nice to see the binder filling up though, but we can't waste too much time. Thank you. Of course you guys. Have a good one. Have a good one, man. That's all my binders, right? Yeah. I have one more spot before I gotta go pick up the kids and then another spot after that. And we'll see, can I finish this set or is it bye bye to all the cards I've already picked up? No hollows? That's crazy. But we did meet Martin and his family, which was awesome. We did get most of the commons and uncommons that we needed. And we're gonna go over to Game Zone, which is another one that we've been to before. They had a lot of alternate arts. But we don't need alternate arts right now. We need base set to hollows. As I rolled up to Game Zone, I got a huge burst of motivation. I don't know about you, but this part of the hunt is so fun. Like, what's inside? Do they have what I need? Yo, what's up, Mario? Tell the princess I said what's up. Wahoo! As much as I love completing these sets, it's the thrill of the hunt that makes it super fun. Grinding and finding. This one's got some full arts and character rares. Like, where is my vintage at? This one has more full arts and even more full arts. All modern, of course. This tourney thing has just... It's just full of Skittles, okay? This one has, yo, full art trainers. What's up, Sonya, how you doing? This one, we have gold on gold on gold and, oh, trainer galleries. Okay, that's actually pretty epic. The next one, we have alternate arts. Oh my lordy, okay. When I need to complete some modern sets, I know exactly where I'm gonna be going. There's the vintage. We have first edition, some Neos, Carlos Base Set, Team Rocket, and yeah. I know I said I was excited about the hunt before, but this is getting out of hand. Excuse me, do you have any base set two oh. singles? No, I don't. No, okay. Then behind me, I see it. This other turn display thingy. I turn it because this is kind of fun. I look again, just more and more modern. Turn it one more time. I'm feeling the pressure now, literally. That was a strikeout. Entirely. Oh, we got one last chance at the card show tonight and we have zero hollows. Uh... All right, welcome to uh, nighttime, hence trade night, which is where we're going right now. I got maybe 30 minutes till I get there. It's 5 p.m. Pacific and I got about till 8 p.m. tonight to make this happen or else. <laughs> So I'm pulling up to this place called Invasion Toys in San Diego and I start to get sort of a weird feeling. Yo, this looks sus. <laughs> um, I swear there's a trade night going on somewhere in this dark area. Yeah, and I even pull into this wrong street, you know, the kind of street that have the Pokemon deals going down that you don't really want to get involved with. <laughs> But eventually I stay alive and I find the place. Okay, this looks a little more promising. 
Okay, I see people, I see people. Okay, that's where I wanna go. All right, this is the last chance. Let's do this. Let's see what we got. So I walk inside and I'm greeted by this vending machine. Yo, they said too. No. As I'm walking in, I see somebody I recognize, which is always super cool. And then I head to the back room and okay, there are definitely some people here. What's up, what's up? <laughs> what's up? Hey. And yo, check out who's here. Slims, what's up, man? Good to see you, Good see you man. We met Slims for the first time in our jungle set video. It was super helpful. You should check that one out if you haven't already, by the way. Always good. How are you? Good, good, welcome I, in. I, I need some help. Okay, what do you need? All right, now we're in business. You see, I knew coming here would be legit. I see Slim's taking something out of his bag. I don't know if you do slabs, but you might like these. I mean, the slabs could, oh my gosh. Yeah, let, let's look for some raw cards first. I got Clefairy. There we go, in his binder, he's got some of what we need, let's go. So that's what I got on hand right Okay, now. four hollows right off the bat. This is great. Okay, let's trade for these and then we'll keep searching for more. While Slim's looking through my binder, this guy comes up with this in his hand. Yep, that's the base it to Charizard hollow, not an integrated slab, the most expensive card in the set. We'll get to that in a second. In the meantime, I pull out even more stuff to trade with, like some PSA slabs. I even pulled out a couple boxes of V-Star Universe, Pokemon's brand new set from Japan. Then all of a sudden, this guy comes around and hears about my challenge and literally just gives me a Magneton Hollow from Base Set 2. And when I ask him if he wants anything, he's like, no, I don't want anything for it. I just enjoy the content. Dude, you are goaded. Thank you so much. All right, here comes Slims with the offer. Duraludon for all four of those? Okay. So he wants my Duraludon V Alt Art for those four holographic cards. I'm in. Let's do it. Thanks, man. Absolutely. Appreciate it, Slims. We're getting closer. Let's Let's mark these five new hollows off the list, pop them in the binder. And yo, we are off to a great start. All right, we got some hollows. Haven't even been here five minutes. Right after that, Slims presents me with this. That is for your channel. It's a giveaway for all the viewers. Are you sure? Absolutely. You don't have to do that. I, I want to. Bro, thank you, man. You're welcome. Slims, you're the man. Thank you so much for looking out for all the subs. All right, it seems a Charizard guy is ready to trade. And this is the big one, the most expensive card in the set. And it's got this gorgeous swirl on it too. So this is not going to be cheap. Let's see what he wants. He's looking and looking. He's breaking out the calculator. Yeah, this guy means business for sure. While he's looking though, I see the kid from earlier. She mentioned that she wanted to trade with me. So I asked to see her binders and then we chat for a bit. Do you have a favorite Pokemon? Yeah. Gengar. 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 I knew I liked this kid. Anyway, I'm looking through and I actually don't see much that I'm interested in, but I did want to make sure that she went home with something before she left. You know what? Somebody gave me this to give away and I'm just going to give it to you. Yeah. Is that okay? Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. That was a graded Zero Aura alt art, and her dad was super grateful too behind the camera. For the kids, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, back to the challenge. The Charizard guy is still looking. I mean, he's getting into the conditions and everything, which is exactly what you should do. I mean, what am I talking about? So far, he's really interested in one of my boxes of V-Star Universe, and he pulled out a couple Japanese cards from my binder too. An Espeon and Dragonite EX, which are both pretty cool. I'm still quite under though, about a hundred bucks short. So I also offer my Hidden Fates full art Espeon. So all that for Charizard. Gotta risk it for the biscuit. Yeah, I'm down. Cool, man. What's your name? Son. Son. Thanks, man. All right. We've been here for just 15 minutes, and we've already got the big hitter and a few other hollows, too. This Charizard is in such great condition, too, and I'm so happy to have this right now. And maybe one of you will be happy if I don't finish this entire set by the end of the night. We will see. Sun was already opening packs of V-Star Universe. He just couldn't wait, and everyone in the store was so curious to see what he got. And... Dude, he traded a Charizard for a Charizard. Charizard. <laughs> <laughs> nice. What's also nice is that I found another guy in here who had a binder that was full of base set two cards. I mean, look at this. If I can finish Fossil in just an hour, we can finish this set off tonight. I know we can do it. All right, I see a lot of what I need right here in this binder. So I go and get my stuff to trade, hand it over, and it's time to wheel and deal. Here's my buffet. While he's looking, I total up all the cards that I need, and based on the latest prices sold on eBay. So I got 85 for all those. That said, I can tell he's not not so sure. Then he asks about my box of V-Star Universe, but they're going for over a hundred right now. Bringing his kids over as reinforcements, and I'm starting to get a little bit worried here. Nothing yet has caught their eye. I knew I should have brought more cards. But finally, he pulls out three of my prime cards I had in my binder. My prime Mew, prime Gengar, and my prime Espeon. See a theme here. And thankfully, the price is just about right. Also, I found a couple non hollow rares that I needed in his binder too, like this Pidgeotto and this Electrode, which for some reason I can't get out of the binder. And he just throws those in for free. Are you sure? Bro, 
Thanks, man. Hey, I appreciate you. Yeah, appreciate Thank you so much. My man, we're getting close here. I'm so stoked at this point. Everything is working out perfectly. They have base set too. We are getting close. In this trade, we got that Electrode, Pidgeotto, we got the Dragonair, the Wigglytuff Hollow, Polyrath Hollow, Clefable Hollow, Chansey Hollow, Hitmonchan Hollow, the Needle Queen, and the Needle King Hollow. That's nine more cards added to the list. Let's pop them into the binder. And look, it's starting to look a little bit more complete now. We're only 21 cards away now. Three more trades like that, and we've got it. We've got it. We've got it. Do you have any base set two by chance? No. no. After over an hour of searching and asking, I took a seat. The guys passed me some sauce and it was time for some chicken nuggets. As I eat my base at two chicken nugget hard out, I can't help but think about even if I didn't make it today, the challenge is still totally worth it. I can't pull off a miracle. This entire binder is gonna be given away. And that includes this immaculate Charizard that we picked up earlier. And yes, that means I also lose all the cards that I traded for my collection for this. And yes, chicken nuggets are probably not the best food for me to eat right now. But you know what? We got to meet Martin, which wouldn't have happened otherwise. I got to hang out and see some friends and even meet some new ones too. There will always be more Pokemon cards to pick up. But as time goes on and as I get older, I've come to realize what's really important. People and cards, but mostly people for sure. With a little bit of time left and just hoping somebody else would come in with some base at two cards, I just decided to have oh, some fun. Nice you guys want to open this for fun? Absolutely. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey. So I just passed out packs from that remaining box that I had and we had a blast. <laughs> Shout out to Slims and the entire crew at Invasion Toys. I couldn't ask for anything more. Let's get some high fives all around. Congrats on the Charizard. Ugh. Oh God. Actually, no, that's not true. I wish there were more base set two cards, but you know what I mean. Do you have any base set two? Let me check. Bro, why would you have it in your pocket? I don't know, man, I'm sorry. <laughs> we didn't do it. We didn't do it, but you know what? We had fun, we saw some old friends, we met some new ones. I had a blast. I'm also stoked for one of you because one of you viewers is going to win this entire binder, Charizard included, and including all the other hollows. When we hit 500,000 subs, we're gonna do a huge poker party, a live stream giveaway, so subscribe so you don't miss that. Hey, I wasn't gonna include this in the video originally, but I felt it was important. We lost somebody in our Pokemon community. His name is Michael Konkon. Um, and he was actually featured in a couple Deep Pocket Monster videos. He was the one who gifted me this Hitmonchan in uh, the base set challenge. And I saw him in another challenge as well. And every single interaction I had with Mike was just absolutely incredible. And he seemed to just have such a positive effect on, on everybody's life that, that he touched, especially in the Pokemon community. A lot of people uh, started their collections because of him uh, here. And so I only wish I had more time to get to know him more and... Uh, uh, just he he was awesome. So Mike, um, just thank you for uh, what you've done to contribute to the community, and uh, you know, rest in peace, brother. You know this makes me feel even more so that we need to really live life to the fullest, and um, you know just be grateful for who we have in our lives right now, and uh, take advantage of every single moment that we can. So, uh, just wanted to take advantage of this moment here to share that and, and to Mike and, and his family and friends and, and anybody who knew him. Uh, I'm so sorry. And, um, you know, I wish you all the best.